Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CHF. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders by checking the commitment of traders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can notice is that the market has just rejected a quite strong monthly demand and support area. From here, in fact, all this previous rejection to the upside was created. At the moment, the market just tested the exact same zone, already started rejecting it to the upside. So in a situation like this, we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this area. We can also notice that if we drop down on the weekly time frame, the structure has now been broken to the upside. This level here, which was the previous high, has now been broken to the upside. The market created a new higher high. And this previous low here is now broken to the upside as well, obviously. And at this point, what you would expect is a correction in the creation of a new higher low, and then the creation of a new higher high, essentially establishing in uptrend, which is a creation of new higher highs and higher lows. So from a weekly perspective as well, everything seems quite bullish. We can also notice how this structure is actually all this area here. This zone was acting as previous weekly resistance here, preceding this rejection to the downside. Again, the level acted as resistance here. Now the market has broken above the zone. So all this previous resistance is now turned support to this area. And we could expect a potential retest of this previous weekly resistance turn support, and then to see a potential push higher away from this level. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily standpoint, this area is currently acting as quite strong resistance. In fact, from here, all this previous rejection to the downside was created. The market again here tested its zone and rejected it to the downside. Now, until the market will remain below this resistance, it can easily continue lower for a deeper test of the support that we have just identified on the weekly time frame. However, only if we get a break above the zone, only at that point, this previous resistance would become support. And that is where we have more probabilities for a potential rejection to the upside away from that previous daily resistance turned support. So if we get a break above the zone, this is where this pair gets quite interesting because this previous resistance would become support. And this is where we have the probabilities of getting more institutional longing, which at that point could further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from the area. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so what hedge funds and the big players and institutions are doing in the market, and we check the data precisely for the CHF, the first thing that we have to keep in mind is that if we're checking the data for the CHF, we're actually already checking CHF USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And if we look here closer at the net positions, we can notice how with the last reports, we went from having minus 3.9K net positions down to minus 11.9K net positions, showing a strong decrease of the net positioning therefore making the CHF weaker. And a weak CHF makes USD CHF stronger. So as institutions are shorting the CHF, we could expect, especially if we get a break above the zone and the retest to see more institutional shorting of the CHF. So institutional longing of USD CHF, which at that point in turn would further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from this area. So if we get a break above the zone on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, 
What I would expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily time frames combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best time frames for that are the intraday time frames, so for hour and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to a bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push higher, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, let me know in the comments below any pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos and I'll see you in my next breakdown.